Hello and welcome back everyone. I am Manic Mink. This is Europe Universalis 4. When we last left off, uh, we were attacking Champagne to get some of France's cores back. Never thought I'd be actually feeding France provinces as, uh, as England, but surprise, surprise, we're doing it. Um... Right, just hanging in there, mostly waiting for things to take over. See, of Nantes, we have one. That's great. Come up here, I'll swap you for these guys. Actually, I suppose I should do the opposite, and... Actually, you're going down to Anjou, so that's fine. You go there, I will come down here. As much as I would love to take some land, actually, for... Not necessarily for myself, but... Um, from Brittany, I think it's not going to be an option. I think I will just have to go... War reparations. Yeah, see, because that's going to make everybody in a coalition against me, so... all treaties with everybody and war reparations. You will hopefully see you through this pretty soon. Thank you. Again, can't compete any can't complete any of those missions for sure. ship there. Let's wait. Um, what I would actually like... Yeah, can't really do anything to stop that, so... What I would actually like is for, of course... Champagne to now peace out, and then I can take, I can give whatever's left of Champagne to France, as I had intended originally. Ugh. Um, actually getting, getting an explorer would be a good idea. And let's actually we'll fire you. Uh, once I get some diplomatic power, I suppose. One more month, and then I will actually start exploring as well. Uh, let's go North Sea. Yeah, thank you. Off you go.
that means I can go to war with Picardy to get the next bit of land. Um, so let's... Well, I like war reparations from you, if you don't mind. Yeah, see, this is where I'm wasting things. I should have been, uh... Ah, that's not what I wanted, strictly speaking. thought that was giving me both of those, but that's okay. I guess we can go to war with them again. Uh, so Florence would be the only ones with anybody any sort of actual threat, or not threat, but... I'm at negative... Okay, uh, so you start exploring. Oh, can't I explore over there? Damn it. Sure, I'll we'll explore there. I guess I will take that. Uh, yeah, should have taken, uh, really should have taken, um, what do you call it? economic ideas there. So far ahead time and uh, admin points. Dauphine. We'll try to take uh, maybe these two. Uh, Anne Boleyn. Um, ten prestige or see, at level 2 statesman. Two point six month, I can't afford Anne Boleyn, unfortunately. Should have just chopped her head off. Like a normal, like a normal person. Um, Anne Boleyn very famously was executed. I'm not just crazy pants. Uh, was, was executed for, for being... For, well, for really for being a lady, more or less, is what it, what it came down to. For not babying enough. There we go, a nice stack wipe there. Um, you, let's transfer to France as well. A lot of aggressive expansion. I'm gonna have to take over because uh, that's gonna be the only way I can. Eh, 
of these countries might join a coalition against me. Everybody. Um, so, let's now go explore Safi. Jeez, you're going way the hell down there? Okay. Hoping that this will at least put us in a position to be able to compete with, uh... Stability, so I'm not going to hire him. Again, don't really care. I should probably should have taken that one, but eh. Need to get down somewhere where I can colonize something. Start colonizing, I suppose, I should say. Any more exploring? No, I cannot. Awesome. Well, I'm glad I got an explorer. Wonder, can I get fleet basing? Let's actually improve relations with Portugal. Ask for fleet basing rights. Can I? Nope. Come on. Fine, I guess I'll just improve relations with you. Uh, 16, so 17, 18, 19, 16, Now we wait some more. Yeah, we have 19, 19 transports. Okay. Nothing. Okay. Let's get rid of these guys then. Okay, um, so, sue for peace. Give these two. Operations, give up claims in France. Let's do that. Problem, of course, is that maintaining cannons is a lot more expensive than maintaining not cannons. And then I can also disable my forts for right now. And so you can probably core that, can't you? Better be able to. Sure, hoping you can. Uh, right, and uh, incorporate Scotland. I could actually probably do that. Cost me a lot, and it wouldn't really be worth it, because next, uh, oh, excuse me, jeez. I 
wait because you have two two claims there and I'd like to actually be able to take those claims. Nothing new. Okay. So improve relations with the Papal State. Uh, Portugal, we're improving relations with. Improve relations here. Just kind of sitting around waiting. Well, let's build some boats. You all mothball for a while. go for the uh, regiment cost. I'll take that, because that one's actually something that I can do. Well, actually, I'll probably just give most of that to, uh, to France. But, again, keeping in mind huge amounts of aggressive expansion right now. Still, jeez. Falling so far behind in Diplotech because I have no real ability to, uh, to alter that at all. Pause. Improve relations there for a while. Papal state is almost fully improved. France, let's see. So, core is here. Claims. Oh. So claims here on Provence that we'll take. Um, I'd love to take all of uh, all this territory for Burgundy, but that's going to be a bit difficult. Champagne, when are you 1510? 1511? I think we're just going to have to go to war with them at some point. Let's crank up our maintenance a bit. Declared war in Provence. Uh, 
we'll take that because that's closer to national tax modifier and national tax modifier also uh, cost going down by 10 is nice You, uh, Champagne and Liège. Take on the conquest of Champagne. That would actually work out really well if you would take that, so I'm not going to go to war with you yet. I will, in fact, uh, drop my maintenance down again. Because you going to war and taking Champagne. Burgundy, I mean taking Champagne. Actually, would be super helpful. It would, uh... Help me out quite a lot. You... Still can't explore anything else. Okay. Thirteen years ahead of time, so in thirteen years I'll be able to actually form Great Britain, uh, get this down. Go and improve relations with Scotland. Relations over there as well. Meanwhile, you uh, you accord that. Thankfully, Some claims there. I need these provinces, but that's going to be kind of tricky. Of course, taking anything is going to piss off a lot of people. crank my maintenance back up because as soon as Burgundy pieces out we will we will go to war to feed that back to France um, debating uh, I guess eh, no I guess I should get Paris back to France I have a core on it but I particularly need it. Still cannot do anything else. Just hanging out. Uh, troops, armies look pretty good. I could use 10 more, but I'm kind of at a rough spot for uh, for cash as it stands. Twenty years increased tax modifier, sure. Okay. sit on Paris. You guys can do the rest of the work. France and Austria, if you don't mind. Fine, I'll come down here and help out. in Parliament. Uh, let's go free space tax. Yep. Uh, and I'll take local autonomy in Essex. That's fine. 
You are at 100%. Awesome. I wish somebody would go and siege through their fort, but... Where are you going? Like, they're just wandering around. France, get your shit together. Come on. Uh, I can lose 40 some gold. Reductance, that's fine. Two, yeah, two stability, lose three inflation? Sure. Absolutely. Um, sorry, hostile siege in Yorkshire? Oh, Florence decided to show up and, uh... You, actually, can we just retreat to there? Scotland, thankfully, is doing minimal work. Thank you, Scotland. Wasn't paying attention. Should have been. Wasn't. Wasn't at all. Siege of Paris is over. You can come back here then. Uh, I guess I'll come down here just to kill this army. Well, I don't know. No, I get well. I've already given it back to France, so I guess it's going to France. Okay, uh, so let's go Burgundy. Um, this and this back to them for sure. Um, nope. That. Nope. Uh, and let's go war reparations. Nope, you still don't want that. Okay. I do have you 100% sieged, Burgundy. I'm just saying. Like, you're not going anywhere at this point. I could come over here and siege Luxembourg if you want. really want me to, I can go and do that. Five artillery is really the limit of, of what's useful in a siege. You can I? No, I can't. Okay. <laughs> just hoping. Just really hoping that he's gonna, like... Go, hey, look, I can, I can explore some more. I can do something useful. No. Uh... New king... Zero five three zero is not good, but Steel will royal marry you. Portugal will royal marry you. And Scotland will royal marry you. That's it. We're not royal marrying anyone else. Uh Steel, did we not Royal marry you just a minute ago? Oh, Mary. Thank you. Okay. Appreciate it. 
God, our guy lived forever. That was a, it was a long-lived, long-lived guy. Uh, Lancaster's not doing too well. Wish they didn't suck as much as they do. Nope, I'll hang on to that. So I have a mission here to take Artois. So, uh, Picardy, you're going to give me this, give them this. People will probably dislike me a bit. Um, but that's what you're going to do, and then you will give war reparations there. Oldenburg is up there. They are largely unimportant. Uh, this is, yeah, other people are probably already here at that level. Let's just see. Yeah, 788. Eight. I'm at five, I think, five Diplo Power, Diplo Tech. So terrible. <clears throat> but again, we're getting close. We're almost at 10. And then when I hit 10, I can actually uh, form Great Britain. I can get rid of the extra relationship with Scotland. That would be nice. Can you explore anymore? No, you can't. Good. Okay. Thanks. Useless explorers. So bad. <laughs> and France really likes us. Integrate. You mean for 50 years? Just improve relations there with you. That's fine. Now 45 points. So. Seriously, come on. I mean, I know I don't have a lot of points, but I should still be able to set this up as the peace deal. Oh, I could do it this way, just not the other way. I don't. King 20 army tradition. End of the month. There 
There we go. Um, I'd love to remove champagne from the map, but I think I'm a bit close to there. So this will be 1520, but that will also sort of disappear as the time goes on. So you have your cores back. Eleven. So in 1511 we'll go and take the rest of Provence again for France so that they can get a bit bigger. Actually, hold on. I don't actually want this, do I? Let me see, can I sell... Yeah, absolutely, I'll sell them that. That's fine, they'll core it. I have no interest in it. It's just like a hundred and some extra frickin' things that I have to spend, so... To me, it's great. Fife. Uh, thankfully, Scotland has ridiculous leaders, so they will fight that. And I say... No, I can't support independence yet. Okay. Um, let's actually take a look at regions. This is British Isles. Okay. So we'll need to take that. Again, because I'm seven years ahead of time on this, I don't I don't need the points particularly. End of February, I will declare on you then. Nope, your claim. Oh, good, your claim expired. Awesome. Ah, uh, you're such a waste, France feed you so many provinces if you just, like, were willing to take them, basically. But no, you're not. Um, nope, still can't explore anything new. Awesome. Debate. We're doing fine. Um, let's actually cancel fleet basing rights there. Trade efficiency, I like that. That's fine. This will upgrade you. Uh, new infantry. So let's go to Condata infantry. Sure. That's nice. Three. Uh, let's actually just go one and one. 
No Provence from the map. Let's take that. And again, we'll sort of hold off a little bit here until we make some troops, but we'll also pick this up next time. So, I'm Manic Mink, this is Europe Universalis 4, and we'll see you later. Take care.